Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So today what I wanted to do is I want to head out onto a bounty hunt. I haven't done one for a little bit, so I want to check that out and just see what is what with that. There's only a couple that we can pick from, so I'm going to go ahead and accept this fella here because it's got most of the coins. So we're going to do that today. But what I also wanted to do today is just want to grab <clears throat> a couple of these fellas here before we get going. Drop those a few, uh, there and you can go there too. Cool. So I've been saying this for a little while now, what I've been wanting to do with my base and well, I haven't quite finished it yet. I've only just started. Oop. Let's go up here first. So I've removed a couple of these guys here. And as you can see, I've got a few bits and pieces here that I've started to set up. So as you can see, that's what I'm sort of looking at here at the minute. So this is basically going to be the foundation of how I sort of want to construct my base and how I want to sort of get everything all up and running kind of thing. So that's pretty much where I'm at at the moment. I only just started because I was able to get enough resources to get the job done or to get everything going kind of thing. So that's pretty much it. I want to try and get the containers, sorry, the storage bins over here on this side here predominantly, and I'll probably get the workstations all across here for the most part. And then any, any other chests and things like that, I'm going to sort of filter out and I'm going to sort of make the place a little bit more easier for, for me to navigate and to have everything located so there's going to be a bit of um reorganization rehashing of things and things like that but that's what it's going to start to look like now this part here is probably going to go eventually once i sort of filter everything back in here like i said there's going to be it's going to take time for me to actually do all of that so that's basically where i'm at at the minute so it's not going to take hopefully too long but it's just going to be a whole grind of resources that's where that's at so at the moment, I can only do so much with the available storage that I, oh, sorry, the available resources I have at the minute. So as you guys can see, whoop, I'm out of shale. So that's what's gonna sort of stop me now. So there's gonna be a few trips to the shale mines over there to, to try and get as much shale as possible. And then the whole thing about me trying to farm basalt, that's gonna be the next thing. But the reason why that I've done it in um instead in, uh, sorry a three by three as opposed to a two by two is only because that i'm going to put um storage chests here and it still should allow me to once i sort of get find my bearings where i am i can still open up a door here and i can still travel and should be able to go in between chests and i can demonstrate that here which allows me to go through here quite easily without a problem. So that's basically where I'm thinking of that. So once these storage um, units have hit their limit, the offshoot goes into here or even here. If I do make two chests for one storage unit, that might be the way that I want to do it. So let me know guys, that's where I'm at. But again, I want to make a video of me finishing this off and showing you the complete product and getting everything all sort of done. The way that I sort of designed it, just real quickly, is you notice that these little lines that are intercepting parts of the base, that's what I'm working on, okay? So what I've done is I'm going one block. So you can see it starts from this little interception over here where I'm sort of moving the, um, the screen around and it goes up to here, this crossroad here. I'm gonna go up one more and go here. And then I'm gonna travel all the way down and it's going to stop at this crossroad and then i'm going to go down this way eventually that's basically how i sort of wanted to sort of set this up in a way and i think that might work out and then from here this gives me the freedom to fill out the middle part of my base to sort that out now with this here i might make the workstations over here only because i've got the limited space but we'll see how this works out because I just want to make sure that I've got enough um, 
enough maneuverability for all of my workstations and things like that. So it's going to take a bit of chopping and changing and sort of things like that in between. But if I sort of push the middle part, whoops, the middle part over to this uh, spot over here where it sort of intercepts here. So you've got the basic um, floor and then you've got the pine level just here surrounding it. That's pretty much where I'm sort of looking at kind of thing. So yeah, that's where I've sort of landed on and what I'm gonna sort of, you know, work out for myself. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'll be interested to know who your response is with that. Anyway, we're gonna go out for a little bounty today. So let's just feed our fella here. There's a bit of work, like I said, it's just gonna take a little while for me to get it to the way I want it. Um, like I've always said, I've always wanted to have an aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing looking base. And I feel like this might be a, a nice way of doing it. All right, so update guys. Not too sure when the next one is going to drop. I think we're done for this month as it is, because we've had the anniversary update and we've had, um, I think that may have been the only update that we've had for this month. So I think they've sort of looked at that as an update for this month. So I think we'll be waiting for August release for another update. Not too sure what that looks like, but I guess we can, you know, sort of theorize what may come out. Now, I don't know exactly what will come out to be honest with you guys. I hope it's something good. I think it might be maybe more, um, I'm hoping they finish off actually the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, all the zones. So we've got the dried zones. Uh, sorry, the dried zone that hasn't been completed just yet. That hasn't actually been done to my knowledge. I don't think so. There we go. So yeah, I don't think that's happened just yet. So with that being said, Possibly that could be the next update that they'd probably be looking at doing. I, I reckon it's just probably one of those updates that I feel that they're just going to finish off, uh, tying up loose ends possibly, and just you know finishing everything ready for maybe the next major update. That's what I'm thinking. But let me know in the comments, what do you guys think with regards to um, updates and whatnot? And I can already see that I've annoyed the bandits, which is good because I'll get some tier five resources in the next, I think six and a half hours. I think it, that's the general go these days. Um, we've got a, ooh, beautiful. Okay, nice, can't wait to get my hands on that. Actually, I think I might grab that with me and take that for the alcohol that I want to create. But yeah, so not too sure exactly what the next update is going to look like, but Oh, it just comes right out of nowhere, didn't you? Cool, I think that's everything. Great. Just want to quickly spend some time in here real quick anyway. Notice that there was some shale here, so I may as well come through and... There we go, took you out. Not a problem. We've got a little bear ski here who won't be any problem for me. There we go. I love it when they go on their hind legs like that. And then the final hit, the final blow is when they're trying to do their massive power attack and they just topple over. I don't know what it is about that, but I, I find that amusing. Um, all right, let's see. What do we have over here? Let's just take out this gangster and he, and there we go. I don't mind this little pistol that I'm using. It's an up, definite upgrade on the pepper box. I wish I could find more in the blueprint so I can actually max it out a little bit because it's a neat little gun. It actually goes really good. And yeah, it's the reason why that I crafted a few actually. So I was sort of looking at using this as a, I'm not too sure why I'm going to grab all this, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I might use this just for my general, you know, basic grinding areas that I don't have to worry about. No, no, like I've got a go-to weapon, I guess. Oh. Come on, don't run away from me. Put the woodsman over here. He won't be too bad. So it does 155. I know there's 73 defense that this fella's got here. But for a zone like this, as you can see, going through it quite easily without any issues. So, I mean, I guess, I guess again, the, the tin mine is probably the easiest one out of the lot as it is. So 
no problems here. What if we get an elevator down this way? I'm not too sure if there is an elevator on the tin mine. I know you get them in the iron mine and the chromite iron uh, mine. I think I believe you get those two, but I'm not too sure about the tin. Good question. It's a very good question. One of life's many mysteries. Okay, as we shoot these fellas down, a couple of these woodsmen in here today. Usually there's only one. Well, it's not a problem. Well, for me that is. But let's quickly move around. Honestly, if I were to be honest with you guys, I'm only here just for the shale. I'm here, I may as well make the most of it. See what else is around here and we'll head out and continue on the bounty and we'll get our just deserves here. Let's um, see what's over here. Doesn't seem to be anything else, just a little thug. I'm not gonna be bothering myself to open up what they have. They've always got basic bits and pieces. So yeah, there's that. Okay, we've got you fellas here. Take out this gray wolf and we've got the, the big boy here. Okay. And we've got another bounty hunter with just one shot. And now I've got the ability to make another whole uh, map. How about that? Um, you didn't give me anything that I wanted. All right, so let's just grab the shale. I know it's not much, but it's something. So what I was able to do is I think the zone, it's the yellow zone. I think it's the Rocky Mountain zone. I think that's what it's called. We're gonna find out in a sec anyway. But pretty much you can get, from what I've noticed, is a little bit over a hundred pieces of shale each time you clear the area. So I did that three times. So I got about 300 and it didn't last long, unfortunately. So like I said, a bit of grinding is going to be needing to take place for me. So that's going to be a fun time. All right, I'm not going to worry about the basalt because there's really not much for me to grab. What am I doing for this? I only got about a full stack, which is okay, I guess. Let's go ahead and read that. Let's jump on horsey. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> find the bounty. Okay, where are we, Mr. Bounty? Well, we've got a wreck train event as well. Should we stop over that as well? And wow, everything's happening. So six hours, 43 minutes. So just under seven hours away. Cool, so they're coming. I've got the, the hideout over here. Where is the wreck train? My God, they're everywhere. It's all over, all over the shop here. All right, so let's run over. There we go. Now you notice that I'm not using my horse as much as I normally would. I'm only saving it for the wagon. So when I can pull the wagon out, I usually, what I did for the basalt farming is I pretty much stationed it up here in the north. And every time that I was going to and from the mines and every and the zones itself, I pretty much went back, ferried what I couldn't um, take it on my, on my persons dumped it in the wagon, went back, and then continued on in that sort of fashion. So I'll probably end up doing that as well with the with everything else, maybe in the chromite or um, zone as well. Uh, in the mine there, I'll probably end up doing the same thing. Um, oh, do I need to take a... Oh no, I need a, a thing, don't I? Do I have that thing in there? I should have a thing in there. An axe, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, no, 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 no. So I've got pickaxes here with me today. Let's have a look. I should have something in here. Come on. There we go. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. There we go. That'll do. Iron axe. Thank you very much. Alright, so... So we've got the, the big fella in here already. Ooh. I should really be careful of my, um, my health there. Didn't realize I was sort of really about to die. There we go, and I'm out of um, armor and equipment as well, so that's not good. Let's quickly flick over to that. I've done that. Should I take out these fellows here? I probably should. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> oh well. It's a timed event. I can go back, retrieve my body. That does not bother me. I just locked myself into a corner. 
<laughs> it's been a while since I've um, I've admitted a defeat. Oh. Oh, okay. That's a new animation for when you die. There you go. Well, that's interesting. I still keep everything, though. That's... You know what? I've noticed that as well. I don't know how long that's been in terms of when or how or where, I guess. Because usually you drop everything. And I noticed that in a different zone. I was in a different zone in a, a non-timed event zone as well. So I'm not too sure what that is all about, whether they've decided the developers that is to fix that, I guess, and make it easier for people. So if they do die, you don't lose everything. Don't get me wrong, that's pretty good. I mean, I wish they can do that for all other survival based games, but I guess, you know, that's probably the, the thrill of the game and to make it a little bit harder for a lot of people. Because when you lose everything, you should lose everything. If that makes sense. But yeah, interesting. So where are we with the tasks? Let's track the quest. We need to head over to report to the sheriff in town. You know what? I think we might even be able to get to do a quick run on the wreck train event as well. I probably should have dropped everything off anyway as it was. You know what? I can probably just leave it in horsey and that's it. So I doubt I'm going to need anything there. Probably should have done that in the first place. But that's okay. Alright, let's load in. Okay, so let's just drop a few of these things off. Don't to worry about that. I think I should be okay with that. All well and good. Okay. And hang on, what's going on with here with our mate Nick here? Ooh, okay. I still gotta do that, I haven't even done that yet. <laughs> well, I'm gonna accept that because there's more oats for me to be had there. And I got the Calvary Sabre there. I'm gonna leave that alone. But I'm gonna have to do some tracking on my own time there. Okay, let's head over to our sheriff ski over here. Alright buddy, give me my coinage. Thank you very much. Alrighty, cool, 2400 even coins. Love it. Love a good round figure. Alrighty, let's head over to that wreck train event. We may as well finish it off. Okay, let's get out of here. There we go. I've got the energy now, so I may as well do all of that. And then, yeah, I'm going to probably be spending my time Mountain Plateau. That's the, the zone that I'm talking about. The Rocky Mountains. I don't know what I was talking about before. So, Stone Plateau. That's, well, Mountain Plateau. Oh, my God. Jesus. I'm reading it. I'm looking at it, and I'm saying something completely different. Oh, my goodness, guys. What is wrong with me? Anyway, wreck train event, let's do it. I know I did this in the previous video as well, so thank you for the guys that did comment back in regards to the spice. There is a bean soup that I'm not aware of. Now, I don't know if I actually saw that in my inventory either because I've only got the green beans there. There's no soup, so I'm guessing it is a recipe I do need to unlock. So I think there's that. I think I may have to upgrade the kitchen for all that. So I don't know the exact stats or anything like that on that so that's probably one thing I'll probably have to look into once I actually start opening up a whole bunch of tubes which I'm planning on doing another video on as well so we'll do a whole bunch of tubes openings and things like that so that's going to happen so hopefully um, we'll get to something like that pretty soon that's what I'm hoping for so yeah it's another future video that I want to sort of uh, organize for you guys so I want to probably do maybe more than 100, I don't know, maybe 150, 200, who knows. Or I might just do another 100 again, I'm not too sure. But at least that way it gives you a decent amount of um, looking as to what stuff that we can get our hands on, blueprint wise. 
Let's just take you out. Take out you. And boom. Very easy. A lot of one-shotting, which I love with this little fella here. So probably one of the best little weapons to grab. And I know there's a lot of people that's asked me to do, you know, tutorials and things like that. Um, some of those things I probably would want to get doing. It obviously does take some time and effort to um, mount a full tutorial style video to try and sort of, um, you know, get you guys um, and, or create like an easier pathway or, or how to, to do certain things. So don't get me wrong, I'd love to work on something like that. Um, not to say that I don't want to do it. It's just more of, it's time and resources, I think. I think it's for the most part. Uh, time, because it is obviously going to take time, but the resource side of things, it ultimately sort of makes me want to do a secondary account and then sort of show off a lot of those tutorial things. And the other reason for that is a lot of them now that I've already done. I've been playing this game ever, ever since it came out, so it's, it's a day one release for me that I've been playing this game. So over two years now. So to do a full tutorial system, it's probably going to take a bit of time. Um, I would probably ultimately suggest if you guys are desperate in a need. I mean, I've done quite a number of videos. I think I'm in the 80s somewhere um, in terms of video which and things like that that I've done on Westland. Um, you know, I probably would have done more if I kept going with it full time um, on the channel. Had been playing it in the background anyway as it was, but not as much. So there may be things that you might be missing, but a lot of the a lot of the things that you probably be interested in is I pretty much cover them myself. So I probably should just go back in, into the playlist there and see if there was anything that you may be interested in, or what you're probably looking at finding. Um, like I said, there's 80 videos. I'm sure there's going to be something there for you guys to sort of check out. Um, so yeah, just have a bit of a peek and if you have gone through them all and you haven't found what you're after then let me know um, if this if it's something that I, sh I can redo or do again in the current state that I am in with Westland then I'll see if I can I can do what I can do for you guys but that's pretty much where that's at on that front as much as I want to do it it's there's always going to be limitations and inabilities to do certain things with the main account, of course. But then again, if I'm gonna spend time in making a brand new account, build that up again, will I be neglecting the main account? And that's pretty much where I'm at with that. Because I really don't wanna do that. I did try that with another game and it was sort of successful only because with that certain game, there hadn't been updates for a little while. For those people that have been watching my channel for a very long time, you probably know very well what that game is. So I won't explain it um, fully, but it was a game that pretty much started my channel. So if you guys want to probably check that out, you're more than welcome to do so. But it's just one of those things, I guess. Anyway, that's pretty much an, everything in a nutshell that I sort of wanted to get out today, actually. And with that all said and being done, I've pretty much finished off the, the train event here. Nice and easy, just a casual walkthrough as you do. Gotten all the important things that I really wanted to get. So I think we'll probably go ahead and leave it here for today. So if you guys ended up enjoying this one, be sure to like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know your thoughts about the information that I have given you guys today in the video. If you guys are new to the channel, enjoy your survival games. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway guys, take it easy and as always, I will catch you guys next time.